what's your prediction for this game? Uh, as of right now, I'm seeing uh, – I've seen everything from four and a half to six and a half. I actually just saw a six and a half when I was looking on, on one projection. Uh, Michigan is favored in this thing. So, whenever the lights come on and they roll that damn ball out there, dude, what what's about to happen in this one? Well, I don't think that the special teams will be an issue for Michigan this week. That's another key to victory that I left out, um, you know, in our in our Michigan key to victory, but um, to tighten up the special teams. And, and I think that they will. I, I think that um, a week of everybody, all this pressure coming on Michigan special teams and the punt returner, um, I hope that they they stick with Morgan, the freshman, who, who um, was the kick and punt returner to start the game. Uh, they ended up going to a different returner, and he's the one who who muffed the kick on the on the two yard line and was able to recover it. But Morgan is more electric. I, I think that they need to get some yards um, out of him if they can. So I don't think that Washington is going to have much success now. Maybe in the kicking game, they, they may they may, may be able to take some points away there. But in the punt return game, I think that they're going to have that pretty much squared away. Um, so in that sense. You know, sometimes when an underdog, when you're picking an underdog to win, that's something you could point at and say, hey, maybe they they win the special teams battle. I think that Michigan is going to be pretty locked up there. So to me, going back to the point about just I mean, it is what it is where we're at in college football right now. When you have the dudes, the horses that Washington has at wide receiver and a more than competent quarterback at uh Let's let's face it. Should have won the Heisman type quarterback. Um, should have won, right. won it. You know, if 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 we voted on the Heisman after the national championship game, which I think we should, um, he'd be he'd be my pick. You know, to, to win the Heisman. Um, but when you have that combination, it is very tough to to stop. And and I think that that that's what we're going to see in this game is that wide receivers and and, and quarterbacks. If you hit on those. With with a good uh, offensive line, right, um, and some good pass protection from your running back, you're unstoppable. And, and I think that as long as Washington protects the football, I think they cannot give away possessions. They need as many possessions as they can get because Michigan's going to try to play play slow. They want to limit Washington to about eight possessions in this game, right? So if if Washington can make the most out of the possessions that they get, score on six of them at least right um if if, if we're getting 10 right and, and can five of those um or or can four out of the those six be touchdowns you know maybe you end up with uh i, I guess that would be 24 so tw uh 30 right at 30 points right I, I do think that whoever gets to 30 in this game wins so I, i'm going to predict that it's going to be 30 to 27 i think it's a close game um and Washington, much like they did against against Texas, they get a stop late to win the game and seal it for the Huskies. So give me 30 to 27, a slight over in the 55 and a half. Um, obviously, obviously Washington covers. I just think that this is the year that we see a, a Cinderella story from from a team and, and Washington is, is the team to do it this year. Absolutely. Well, I agree with a lot of your sentiments there. Here, here's. Here's what it comes down to for me, okay? I've been on this Washington thing all year, and there's been moments that have been down here, and there's been moments that have been up here, dude, okay? But I feel like this team has a lot of momentum right now, and I feel like they're a team on a mission. They seem like a team that just really loves each other, man. And I, I know that's not uncommon, and there's a lot of football teams that, that really love each other, but – this Washington team is tried and true. They have been through trials and tribulations in 2023. I don't know that Michigan has been through those same trials and tribulations on the field. They're, I, I've been thinking all year, at some point, all the, the, the tumultuous stuff that's gone on at the University of Michigan is going to catch up with this team eventually. And, and it hasn't. And that's, a, that's a, to the credit of, of – a play led team and they've got they've got guys that that got love for each other and and they're playing for a greater goal which is Michigan football. But I believe Washington is doing that same thing. Washington has beat Oregon twice. Okay, they just beat Texas. Okay, and 
they've they've played tough games in between there. Oregon State and, and unbelievable tough conditions. They continue to persevere time and time again. And Michigan has had a way easier path here, dude. Way easier. They've just beat one of the worst Alabama teams we've seen in a while. I mean, let's just be real. That Alabama team has given up over 50 sacks this year. Okay? that that They don't have an air attack. Okay? That was one of the worst Alabama teams we've seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of the worst Ohio State teams we've seen in a while. It's a Penn State team that just got the ever-living Jesus blown out of their buttholes by Ole Miss. Okay? And all the Penn State fans can cry all they want to about who sat out or whatnot. But it wasn't offensive guys sitting out. Okay? And you didn't score on an Ole Miss defense that wasn't good. I don't think that this Michigan team is nearly as tried and, 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 and been through the, the path that this Washington team has been through. That's why I'm going to take the Washington Huskies here to beat the spread, and I'm going to take them to win this game 33-31. to 31. I think this is going to be a really close game. I know that's kind of a weird score, but I'm going super precise with it here. 33-31, to 31, Washington Huskies win a national championship the last year of the 14 playoff. And regardless of what happens, both of these teams have had an amazing year, and, and, and uh, obviously there's um, – you know, the Washington has been considered the outsider in this situation. But this is going to – if Mitch loses this thing, man, it's going to be very, very heartbreaking. There's going to be a lot of players leave. Uh, Harbaugh's more than likely going to be gone to the NFL, and that's going to give us a whole lot to talk about in this offseason. So, if you're not subscribed, if you're not familiar with the first and long, this is the first time you've seen us, go ahead and hit that sub button. We're not done. We're going to keep this party rolling into the offseason.